Hey guys, XOX here, and I'm back at you with another video on secret chests in Enshrouded. We are going to be looking at the comments uh, on secret chests that can be found. And the first one of, uh, of interest is one here in Kindle Waste. We're going to be jumping from the Kindle Waste Spire. And also, I just want to tell you that this is done without cheats. This is done so anyone can attempt to get to them. The place we're going to is up here, right north of East Lapis. This is East Lapis, as you can see. Up here by the mountains, we kind of land here in front of the cave. And then we're going to progress through the cave, up through the landscape, and end up here by another cave at the top right corner. But for now, we're just going to fly. So, your first little entrance here is the cave that's below East Lapis. You're just going to run through cave passage. At some point, you will encounter some beetles. There is a little chest here on the uh, right when we come up. But just run from the beetles if you don't want to fight. You don't have to fight them. You can outrun them. I have begun checking this chest here in my non-cheat account because it sometimes contains healing potions which I, which I find kind of quite useful. There are the beetles. We're just going to keep running. As you exit the cave, just stay on the road for a little while here. Basically all the time until we have passed the East Lapis buildings. Then at this point you want to hike left and stay on here on the left side of East Lapis. Again, ignoring beetles. And this is not the place, not this mine. There is another place, but keep going. So we're back on the road. But you can already see an indication of where we're going. You can see there's a kind of crop out or cut out in the mountain over here. That's where we're going. And right here is a cave. As you can see stated by the uh, message I have posted here on screen. We're gonna keep to the right wall. We're gonna go all the way to the end. And then at some point here, we will come across this problem. And just right away. And then when you come in here, you find a gold chest. And in here, today, we have a spellbinder head. Well, that's the first one. Let's have a look at the next one. So, we're back at the Kindle Waste Fire, going for the second one. And the second one is gonna be found right here next to the uh, chests or chest and the tomb i showed in the video the other video there is actually a little shrouded area here and inside that there's a cave and inside the cave there is a gold chest and of course thank you to the viewer who supplied that info you're shown on screen right here so yeah really appreciate that let's just land here I hope that dragon leaves us alone for just a moment. Careful not to stand on the uh, shroud there. We got the deep root axe as a legendary 25. Not bad. Well, that's this one. Let's have a look at the next one. The next tip is from another viewer. And it's going to take us east of Kindle Spire to the shroud route located right here by the edge. This one has one gold. A couple of uh, silver and a normal chest. Now as you come to this point, you can see we are approaching the shroud. So a little tip. Start off by landing at this tower as you can see right here in the fog. Because that is actually going to take us very close and easy to the first chest. Also, this is a convenient spot to uh, race to because it's outside the shroud. So all this down here is shrouded, but if you need to fast travel out, you don't have to go all the way out uh, by hiking. You can simply go here. So the first chest, as you can see, is right here by the tip of my hat. And that's a gold chest. So let's just go get over there. We got the hawk trousers. Only level 23, but I guess it's nice. Now, on to the next chest. You can avoid completely is wow well, almost died there oh my god don't don't die now you can't avoid combat completely here but you can run for most of them so let's get to the next chest inside this building here down the basement through here little chests We've got the ethereal plane legendary 25 Let's go on to the next. As you come up, you can just really jump over here. Then you want to head over to the next building. Careful of the shroud here. 
this is deadly. I don't bring my lock picks, but this is just a normal one, so I can kind of live with that, right? And then these guys I want to avoid, but we have another house here. Simply just run up this side. Down to the basement, you're gonna face a single opponent. As you can see, we have a caster in here as well. Uh, she is kind of bugged at the moment, caught in the building, so you can basically just go in. If I had the lockpick, oh my god. Let's just see if I can find some metal, but now you know it's there. <laughs> I just put my fan and lockpick on the other, the first place there. But as you can see, I dropped, uh, jumped out the house. Now we're gonna go up to this house, and we could just go up here. But you have to know there's a knight up at the top here. We're gonna jump. There's the chest. Grab it. That was a sun axe. So we get the free space to kind of move around as needed. So that ends this part. Let's go back to the Kindled Way Spire. We're gonna go south of Kindled Way Spire. We are gonna land, or try to land, as high up on the mountain just... Well, according to the map, it's, well, it will be east of Scatterbone. So try to land over here. I mean, whatever way you choose to get up, it's your choice. I think this mountain, I haven't tried it um, right here on this side. I think it might be high enough because it's closer. Uh, to the top of the temple, but I have been going up here now after I got that, that tip So we come in here right by the watchtower and there is a guy up there with a, uh, a Bow so yeah, you can just leave him and of course I would like to acknowledge all of you kind people who suggested uh, different specs because I can totally see that the up updraft and placement of altar, of course, would make it a lot easier to get up there. I guess this is another way to do it, to get up here. So I'm gonna cheese it a little bit here by repeatedly flying, jumping flying, as you can see, then you can kind of climb mountains even where you're not supposed to. I'm gonna cheese it a little bit here, and then you can see this is me. I just made a test to see how we could get there, and I hacked in here step by step. Whoops, let's not just fly off that yet. But just to prepare you a little bit, on the top of this tower there is a dragon nest. You can kind of see it by the tip of my head now. The chest is right in front of it, but there is a kind of a hole right here in between the two. But you can actually make the chest before the dragon reaches you. Um, the tricky part here is not to panic and uh, turn off the glide too early. Well, that was almost too much, right? I open it, grab it, and then we run away. Unless you want to fight the dragon, of course. Then you don't run away. So, that's it for tip number four. And this one might not be a level 25 endgame chest, but Aubrey here still found it, and I think it's worth mentioning because it might be useful if you're still leveling. So let's go have a look here. We're gonna go up and get ready on the spire. And this one is a lot more convenient to get to. So as you can see, you got the Bramble Spine Boneyard here. Just north of that, there's another tomb. And uh, I placed a marker so I could better aim for it, but it's basically just at the edge of this little mountain here, or cliff. A keen eye might have spotted that I already did my test and killed a few skeletons. Looks like it's over here, actually. So which side is that? That is the... when you land, it's right here in the... First corner, right hand corner, what you want to say, call it. First room, no locked doors or secret doors. But already here, we have one. We got the great maze, level 15. We're heading right. The wire there, or chain. There we go. So we got another hallway here. Down at the end, we got the chest. We've got the crackling one fifteen, and that's it for this one. Now, God and Rod went above and beyond, and uh, his contributions alone could actually contribute with a whole video on its own. But we're gonna try and take all six of his. And the first one, you need to go to Rebelwood Spire, and the location for this one is right here, northeast of Song Bonsong Frontier. 
and directly south of White Wind. And this is even more convenient because it's not even buried. You can actually just walk in. It is an enshrouded area, so... Now, we're here. And just for good measure, I haven't been here yet. So it's completely untouched and I will be as surprised about the loot as you will be. First, the secret door. Got a normal chest, no lockpick, so that's fine. Oh, it's not fine, but it's, it, it is what it is. Oh, we got a few beetles here. Pretty handle, uh, easy to handle. We got the club that finds level 13 common. Keeping an eye out for secret loot. We got one here. It's one of those empty ones, I guess, with the uh, urns. And we got another secret door. This time a silver chest. Tart bow level 13 common. And we got a whole lot of beetles protecting the uh, final chest here. Let's go and grab that. We got the Elder Staff, level 13 rare. Um, okay, let's see. That's a secret door. We got a silver chest. We got the Hero Shield, and 13. No secret doors here. Oh, this looks a bit like it could be something because it seems very dark. Like Almost like it's an entrance. Uh, no, it is just wall. So that's it for this one. Let's get up and out. The next one from Goddenrod. We are at the Nomad Highland Spire. And we are aiming for this spot over here. Now as you can see we've got Rattle Bleak right here between us and the location. And the sort of directly west we find the point of interest. It's an old church it's with an old cemetery and the church is kind of ruined. Uh, but yeah, let's just get gliding. You might not be able to glide all the way. But it's a pretty safe run um, the rest of the way, so try to go as far as you can. And of course, because we can actually see that we're not going to make it all the way, you can also just do this. You're going to land on this high point here, and then we're going to make our way across that. So we're pretty much at the location. The church is right here below us. The entrance is not hidden. It's right here behind the tower. Just gonna drop down here. Oh, took a bit of damage there. And here we go. And this one is another one I haven't been to yet, so we, I will be discovering it as we go. Let's see. There's a little bit. Oh, he's, he apparently stood in the poor way, that guy. So we can go around here. Seems empty here. Guess we go down. There's a level 16 skeleton. And then we got nothing here, but we have another entrance we can go down through. Got a single skeleton here. Make that three. And still no. Whoop! Let's just show that again because I wasn't aware of that. So when you come down here, apparently there's a chest you might run run down to that, but actually there are stairs here that go down. We got an empty chest, but oh, we got the main chest here. Flame shield 16. Never had that before. That looks kind of nice. I wish I had. That's a sweet shield. Thank you for that garden rod. Well, I guess the drop is random, so <laughs> can't completely take credit for it. But nice to find new places, I guess. Always appreciated. Community sharing is what we enjoy, right? Well, I guess that's it for this tomb here, because it seems very one-directional. And again here, I'd like to make an honorable mention. Uh, one of the viewers actually put in the comment that you should leave the bodies because they act as uh, lights, which makes total sense. So thank you for that. Okay, that's it for this one. Let's go to the next one. Now, the next one here, I'm almost embarrassed to say I, I did do it, but I didn't read the quest. So it never really struck me that this was a concept of the game, uh, which was why I was initially surprised by finding those hidden tombs in my first video. Uh, but as Scottenrod says, this is actually the first one you encounter of these types of tombs, and I guess he's right. That basically, it's basically supposed to be a tutorial to be aware of hidden tombs. So let's just go there and have a look. Um, it's not even buried; it's right here in the open. So it's, and you actually get a quest to go down there. So. Uh, it's not really secret or anything. 
you know what? Let's we don't have to. It even it's even called hidden tomb. So, but you know we probably already did it. But now we have mentioned it, and yeah, consider these types of things that you haven't seen before as an kind of an, an idea or a introduction to a concept. So yeah, uh, nothing uh, more to say about that. I think. So we are back at Kindleway Spire, and this is another one of Garden Rod's six contributions. And uh, in this case, we're gonna fly from this south. Uh, what will that be? Southwest corner. And we're gonna aim for the placeholder castle here, and I'm gonna try and land on the rightmost uh, peak or tower. So let's just get to it. And while we fly, I can just show you where we're going. We're gonna glide all the way to that placeholder tower. Then we're gonna jump and fly across here. You wanna get to this cave entrance here that's located on the south side of the mountain. Go through that. Once you come out the cave, you're gonna hike left. And then you're gonna find the temple or the tomb that is uh, out in plain sight and the entrance is not even buried. So you can basically just go down it. We can glide across. As you can see, there's a little bit of running here, but it's not too bad. And it's pretty safe, to be honest. So if you just you know, stay close to the road, you don't even have to fight these dragons. You can probably outrun them each time. But as you come to this point, we got a little tent camp over here. You want to start moving in towards the, um, the wall here, because the cave entrance is, you know, very inconspicuous. So I didn't even see this one before. I have probably run past it many times. You're going to encounter a lot of beetles here. Just run past. Keep running. Here's a little bit of stuff you can pick up. Once you get up to this little, there's a kind of a dig out where you can farm as well. There's even a silver chest up there you can pick up on the way. But we want to get to this location here, out of the cave, to the left. Scorpions would be nice to be able to run. Hike left around the mountain. And there you have it. And since I haven't tried this one yet, let's just go down there and see what we get. Normal chest with a few items, consumables. Okay, so this is these are actually little birdie guys. So it's not not just a hit and run case. This one. Oh, it's going, it goes even further down. This is a very tomb place. There's a single chest here with a shroud flask. I'm taking this doesn't lead to anywhere like I showed in the first video. This is probably just decoration. But if anyone feels like to dig this out, please make a note in the comments and tell me what you found. So yeah, maybe we can put that in another video. We got the Radium Paladin helmet. Excellent, although I already have it. So sorry, I'm going to do something painful and leave it here. This is probably an empty tomb. Yeah. And let's go this way then. Seems like we have a hidden door. Silver chest. Spike bow 25. Probably a lot of other options as well. And that's it for this tomb, I guess. So, this is the second to last tip of a secret tomb. Another one of Garden Rods. We're going to the Springlands Spire. And we're gonna mark this here. Custom mark. So we're going south of Ancient Obelisks. We're going west of Peaceful Acres. Uh, I think Garden Rod actually wrote east, but I'm pretty sure it's here west. So let's go check it out. And there you have it. A couple of skellies hanging out. But we got the tomb right here on the top of a grass hill. And it's basically just open for grabs. Again, this is early levels, but I'm just gonna show it because I haven't been here myself. So let's see here. We got a normal chest, consumables. Then we got the first hidden chest already here. And this time we got the Shepherd's Lightning level three. So I guess, you know, it's already a good place to get some starting loot. We got another secret door here. With the Masterful Maze, level 3. Then we got a spider who couldn't figure out how to avoid spikes. We got the main chests. We got the Frozen Core one, level 3 epic. Nice one for starters. Let's 
what we found the first one. So I guess this is just, you know, one of the early tombs. So it's not too deep, not too complicated. Just to give you an idea of the concept. So that's it for this one. So what was going to be the last tip is actually the one I showed in the first video, which was south of these lapis. So I hope you enjoyed and found it useful. Please consider dropping a like, like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.